Good morning, Holy Spirit. For yet a wonderful gifted day. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us no matter our weaknesses and faith struggles. We praise your Spirit for helping us to live in fellowship with you, O Lord God, so that we will have abundant joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, life challenges can cause some to doubt God's presence with them. But to others, such as false teachers who had entered the church, their doubt stem from the fact that Jesus did not come in the flesh. Could this make tolerance a prized virtue today where your ability to be understanding of those with whom you differ be a sign of refinement or worldliness? Yes, Jesus too was a champion of tolerance or patient. Tolerance or patient of the disciples when they doubted. Tolerant of the crowd when they misunderstood him. Tolerant or patient of us when we fall in our Christian faith. But there is one area where Jesus was intolerant or sensitive, anxious and unyielding when it comes to salvation. Not surprising, the sharp differences with the Pharisees and the scribes. Jesus positioned himself as the peerless savior of the world. Friends, in defining who he is, Jesus is bold and relentless, in a sense, unapologetic. Unapologetic. As a result, his disciples, especially John, was equally firm and therefore steps up the bench and makes his defense by writing the first epistle of John to dispel doubts about Jesus. He wrote to denounce the teachings of the Antichrist as 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 tells us, Beloved, do not believe every spirit but test the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets have gone out into the world by this you know the spirit of God every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God and this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. And so John wrote to denounce the teachings of the Antichrist with one of said teachings that Jesus did not come in the flesh. John knew Jesus walked with Jesus, lived with Jesus. He saw him healed. He heard Jesus' words. John had been to the empty tomb and he knew Jesus, who he is. 
he was and will be in the future. That Jesus is the only option or nothing at all. Therefore, John wrote to clear the differences between light and darkness, truth and error, love and hate, God and Satan, life and death and etc. Beloved, there are times to be tolerant and there are times to take a stand for truth just as John takes a stand for his master even during persecution times. Further, John encouraged our Christians to live in fellowship and have genuine love for God and the brethren and have the assurance that we have eternal life in Jesus Christ. Beloved, we can only tolerate and take a stand for what we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled or touched him with our own hands. He is Jesus Christ, the word of life. The one who is life from God was shown to us and we have seen him. And now we testify and announce to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the Father and then he was shown to us. We are telling you about what we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us knowing that our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Friends, are we determined to live according to God's standard in the Bible so that our life will be transformed daily and prosper as well? God cares that we as his children love each other because God's love is in us. God's love and God's life in us enable us to love our fellow family members. God is truth and light. The reason we should keep focused on the truth, the only assurance that by faith we can be certain of our eternal destiny with God. Stay blessed and have a happy and joyful day. Bye for now.